had a little increase in female viewers. Hello, ladies. So it's the end of part one. It's time for the eye tutorial. The eye tutorial. I just spat. To get started, you can download this reference of the eye and this template. So to join in on the fun, why don't you click the link that's displayed here next to my ugly face. Hello again. So what I've got here, what looks like a piece of blank paper to you, actually has a very light outline of this exact reference here. So instead of looking at this eye and thinking, oh my god, where do I start? I always like to start from the darkest parts of an artwork. The pupil and this darker region around the top of the eyelid. Now forget about detail at this stage. Just form it like the sculptor forms his rock. This bottom edge looks exactly like a soft line. Choose your height correctly and create the effect that's going to mimic exactly what you see in the artwork. So I'll start airbrushing the eye. I'll talk you through it as much as I can as we do it. But I want you to pay attention and see if you can tell which effects I'm actually using. I'll start by doing a line on the pupil. Throughout this tutorial, you might see me stepping back from the artwork. What I'm doing is I'm stepping back further so that I can make sure that I'm airbrushing my piece at the right height to create the same edge as what I see in this reference on this artwork. A blending light. Now there's a couple of options we can use for the pupil. As I've shown you in previous tutorials, you could do two dagger strokes to frame the eye. You could do two blending lines. Or you could use your hand as a stencil. Sorry if my fat head is in the way. I think you used that joke already. Stepping back to make sure that my intensity is exactly the same as what I'm seeing on the reference. So I see darker spots here. I'll do a little bit more work on these areas. The line. Like I said, remember to build up your artworks in light passes. Just build it up. You've got nothing but time. There's no need to rush this at this stage. Just take your time. Make sure you're doing the effects correctly. Just hit my head. A perfect example about creating form is this area here in the eye. You'll see it's this area. Don't move. Now it looks quite confusing and as a beginner you may look at it and think how the hell do I do that? We're just going to create two blending lines and it's creating that triangular shape exactly as we can see there in the eye. That's the beauty of airbrushing. This edge here and this edge here. Very lightly going over the same spot, angle away from the eyeball. And you'll notice I flick at the end of the effect, just like a dagger stroke, just blend it out. Might use a hand as a stencil here on this edge. These areas here, on my eye, are too sharp. The best effect to be used in these areas would be what? That's right, blending lines. Now for the bottom edge of the eye. This is probably one of the toughest parts of the eye to pull off as it's very easy to make the effect too dark. Notice how I'm getting further away from the artwork as I create the effect. Adding the areas around the border of this artwork are probably the easiest areas to create. We just have to make sure that we're high enough from the artwork that we're creating the right shaped edge. Once you've created the basic shape of your eye, then it's time to go in and start adding the little bits of important detail, such as the eyelashes. The most important thing to remember is that you're executing the effect at the right height. At this stage, it looks like all of the basic shapes are complete. However, it doesn't yet look quite right. So what we're going to do is take a big step back and compare how this looks to your reference. When you're done, step back, have a look, and admire the work that you've created. Well done. 
you're an airbrush artist. Part two of the airbrush tutor series is going to go into a little bit more detail about how to create detail and how to make your artworks photorealistic. Again, if you enjoyed today's tutorial, then please spread the love. Visit airbrushtutor.com and hit the Facebook like button or Google Plus One. You can also follow us on Twitter now. Spread the love. I want to say a big thank you to everybody who's left positive feedback for me. It warms my heart. Thank you. Second thing, I just want to say a big thank you to Texas. You win the award for most views. That's followed by California. And California, um, I love uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger.